I'm a faculty at Hopkins. I hold an endowed chair there and uh, uh, do work at the intersection of machine learning and healthcare. I direct a large lab on this intersection as well. And wearing that hat, I've got a chance to see front and center how quickly we're moving to a place where the technology now exists to be able, and really high quality research now exists that can be moved to the bedside to actually solve some of these hard problems like, you know, improving outcomes in areas like sepsis and pressure injury and readmissions, like all problems all of us are struggling with. But right now, our only solution is task forces and education. And, you know, uh, unfortunately, those solutions are not sustainable. But but going beyond that, for me, it was also very personal. I unfortunately um, lost my nephew to sepsis. And I remember when um, I got a call from mom when she called me about it. And, uh, you know, I had written one of the early papers. It was a cover article in Science Translational Medicine on early detection of sepsis. And with a lot of fanfare, it got a lot of academic recognition. But when she called me, my biggest realization was... Uh, you know, we have a lot of high quality work that's sitting now in research that isn't making it to the bedside. And my work wasn't really getting out there to help people. And I couldn't really be of help other than to say that I knew something about it, but couldn't do anything about it. And, you know, my nephew's story is only one. As I give talks, I've gotten letters from like, you know, people who are, you know, hearing about this research and kind of uh, would write to me telling me their own story. So, you know, Bayesian to me was a real calling, realizing um, you know, as researchers, we can really do service to the field in bringing together amazing people who really understand the core of health, core of tech, bringing it together to deliver it in a way that we can deliver a great experience for our clinicians. And I think now is the time.